Well, hey everyone, it is the last day of 2021 and I wanna bring you New Year's blessings and greetings. I hope you really have an amazing new year. In fact, on Sunday, we're gonna talk about how we can experience God's blessing in 2022. But before we go there, you know, so often we move on without adequately celebrating what went on. And just reflecting on this last Christmas season and accumulating a bunch of facts and figures, I just wanna celebrate with you what an amazing church you are and all the incredible ways that you served each other and the community. And I'm sure the 10 or 11 things I'm gonna run through is just part of what God did through Willowdale Chapel this December. So let's just get started with like the happy stuff. Like we gathered both at Jennersville and in Kennett for our annual now outdoor Christmas caroling event. It was just a lot of fun to be bundled up outside, drink some hot chocolate, eat some kettle corn and sing carols and get ourselves into the spirit of the season. And from there, our joy just overflowed in all kinds of ways to people in our community. We did a food drive and collected over 4,000 pounds of food uh, to stack local food cupboards in our community. We did our annual Christmas tree project. This is championed by Don Egan and his men's group, but it now involves over 80 men and like five different churches providing Christmas trees, wreaths, flowers, food packages to over 100 families all around the region. Likewise, we created our own care packages for over a hundred families who were in need in our community. And these not only included a lot of food gifts and such, but hundred dollar grocery gift cards went out to 120 different families. And it was a privilege as many of them drove through the church to pick up these gifts for us to pray over them and just pray God's blessing on their households and to love them a little bit in the name of Jesus. We did Operation Christmas Child. Our 56ers and our middle schoolers packed shoe boxes full of toiletries and personal items. And these are gonna get shipped to kids all around the world, just an extension of love in Jesus' name. A bunch of small groups, particularly women's groups, got together and served in all sorts of ways. A bunch of them baked chicken pot pies and baked ziti, put them in the freezer for our meals ministry. Another group made gift baskets that they donated to the garage for their holiday auction. Uh, one small group did care packages for nurses at Pocopson Home. You know, these essential workers that can so easily be taken for granted, they were loved on by people at Willowdale. And another group did advent bags for widows and shut-ins in our church family. Uh, Urban Promise is one of our great local partners, and we have a team that serves there every week. But during Advent, uh, Sarah and Joe Flowers opened their home, which they've been doing several years now, for all 28 students at the Urban Promise Academy. And they came into the Flowers' home, they enjoyed a meal and games and fun, and they each got stockings and gift bags with their names on it. And uh, this was just a taste of holiday love that they don't typically get. So like I said, those are just some of the ways, maybe most of them, that the body of Christ served in December. And I just wanna tell you how proud I am of you, how grateful I am to be a part of a church like this, and how grateful I am as well for your prayers and your support for Willowdale, not just in December, but all year round. You know, we have to keep tabs on things like giving, and we have some good news in this season. Uh, we're up about 4% in the number of individuals or households who are actually giving to the church. That's a really good thing. We're not back to pre-pandemic levels, but we're growing in this area, and we're grateful to God for that. Our bills are being paid. We have money to do ministry together, and that's just because of your generous support. So. I just encourage you to keep it going. If you're not part of the giving and serving team around here yet, we invite you onto the team. We hope that everybody who calls Willowdale Chapel their home will actually be in the giving game with us and in the serving calling that we bear from Christ himself. 
and let's just see what God does for us in 2022.